Hey everyone, this is First Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brian Padamich here at NBC Charlotte. It's about uh, 9.45 when I'm recording this. I want to do a quick update on the severe weather potential for our area and what's going on tonight. There's been a lot of talk today about this potential. It is really a big outbreak going on in the middle of the country, uh, really the middle of the country, the more of the Midwest. This is basically from the upper Midwest, the southern Great Lakes into the Ohio Valley. And we've got three main watch boxes you can see on your screen. We've got that PDS tornado watch for eastern Iowa, northern Illinois, and then you got the PDS severe thunderstorm watch for most of Indiana, southern Michigan, and Ohio, and then this new tornado watch, which was issued not too long ago this evening where we've seen some supercells and so far this evening that has been the main threat really most of the day and through the evening has been supercell thunderstorms producing tornadoes the ones in ohio have been particularly strong uh, with several reports of tornadoes with these cells moving to the south and east it looks like we're starting to get that mesoscale convective system it's something we call an mcs developing up here in Indiana, Illinois, maybe up here into areas of Lake Michigan, but we 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 don't have the duration yet that everybody's talking about. Too many people focused on the duration when this was going to be a multifaceted severe weather outbreak, and you really never know if these are going to be durations until they start and develop, and then they progress for 240 miles. We haven't seen one yet. We still could see one eventually as all these storms kind of coalesce into a big massive thunderstorm complex we call them MCS. The big question for us in the Carolinas is where are these things going to go? Um, and that's really the interesting question tonight because the first thing I like to look at when you have these types of setups is I look at the 500 millibar charts. Um, first of all, this is the uh, STP, just to give it a brief idea. Uh, this is the significant tornado parameter, kind of gives you a good idea what's going on there. But I like to look at the uh, 500 millibar heights. And you, you look at the 500 millibar heights, and this typically is the main steering current for these type of systems. So if you look real briefly, you start to see the steering flow going something like this and then down into the southeast. That's really where you're starting to see these storms develop. The question is, does it make this turn down here into the Carolinas? That would be one path. The other path would be here into the Midwest or off into the Mid-Atlantic, excuse me. And that's really the two main areas that the system could go. So as the thing develops through the evening hours, we're going to have to see if it makes that turn or not. And one of the other things I like to look at instead of STP as well is where is the instability. So when you look at where the instability parameters are setting up across the area, it looks like we're starting to see a little bit of that instability setting up further south. Look at all these Cape values down into the Carolinas. So there's a small window for this thing to take a right turn uh, down here into western North Carolina and into the Piedmont of South Carolina sometime tomorrow morning. That likely is not going to happen until after sunrise. So overnight tonight, we're not looking at any threat uh, across our area. So let's look at some of the model data. I'm going to turn everything else off real quickly uh, to give you an idea what some of the models are, are looking like. The first model I, I like to look at is the NAM4 model. We'll look at the reflectivity. We'll go um, out to uh, 12Z tomorrow, which is in the morning. You can see what it does. It kind of brings this broken line down through uh, southern Ohio. There's your MCS up there in uh, northern Ohio, uh, the southern Great Lakes. It seems to move into Pennsylvania and then kind of fall apart. Um, this is why the, the duratio thing in the Mid-Atlantic just doesn't make any sense. Uh, I just don't know where these where this stuff comes from sometimes because it just didn't make sense at all. But you look at tomorrow afternoon, this is about um, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock into 8 o'clock in the evening. We've got this broken line coming through the Charlotte area uh, tomorrow evening and then moving through the area. It doesn't look like it's going to be widespread severe weather, but any one of these storms uh, could be severe. Let's look at the HRR, which is a high resolution model. Um, this is what's going on roughly right now. has a pretty good handle actually on the current situation when you look at the placement. We'll go into the overnight hours a little bit here um, out into the future. Boy, this thing's kind of sticky. Um, don't have a lot. only have two hours of data, so this is the latest run. Um, so we're not getting a lot of data from there. Let's look at the HRW, which is another pretty decent model for mesoscale stuff. Um, quick look at that, where it goes tonight. We'll go out in the middle of the night. It brings the uh, MCS a little bit farther south. you got this kind of quasi-linear convective system coming down through West Virginia and falling apart. And then moving into the Carolinas tomorrow afternoon. Flares things back up. I notice it's pretty broken. So if you're worried about a big, massive windstorm coming through the Carolinas, it just doesn't look like that's going to happen based on what I'm seeing tonight. So we'll go back and turn on all our 
other products and you can see there's your watches going on right now in the Great Lakes so we're just keeping a close eye on it uh, potential is there for strong storms tomorrow but there's also the potential this could be a very minor event uh, the main action is going to remain up here in northern Indiana Ohio and Illinois southern Michigan and eventually maybe western PA uh, into western Maryland and parts of West Virginia. So that's just a quick look on what's going on tonight. Of course, I'll talk more about this coming out tonight at 11, and we'll keep things up to date on Facebook and Twitter. I will post a full update late tonight or early tomorrow morning on my Facebook page and at WCNCDC.com for the latest on this potential severe weather moving into the Carolinas.